Hi, welcome to another Eco Sports edition of Eco Penny. I've got some rowing parts, I'm really excited. So I'm going to upgrade the rowing boat that I've got. Can't wait. So I've ordered these parts online from some rowing companies. So I've got some shoes from Bont Rowing, some hardware nuts and bolts and other bits from Sykes. And I've got some stuff from Croker Oars. So three rowing companies. So let's have a look at what I've got. It's like Christmas again. So these are the quick release shoes from Bon Rowing. They're the bottom of the range ones. There's three tiers, bottom of the range, higher and the dearest. But I found these look quite good, about $150 Australian. They've got the quick release, which means if you capsize, you can pull this and the Velcro comes undone, see if feet fall out of the shoes for safety. I've got their quick release system. So these parts enable these shoes to come out of the rowing boat and someone else can use it with bigger or smaller shoes or I can use these shoes in another rowing boat that's got a compatible system so it was only a little bit extra to get these so it means you can basically swap the shoes in and out of boats quite easily so this will be another day's work it comes in a nice bag which is nice so from Sykes I've just ordered some bits and pieces so I've got some new wheels to go under the seat so it rolls better. A new bow ball, so if it bumps into something, gives it some protection. I've got a strap, so when you're transporting the boat, you can put this strap over the seat to stop the seat moving when you're transporting the boat. And we've got some new nuts, so all the rigger nuts, when you're putting the riggers on the boat, can have new nuts because they do get affected by the water over time so I thought I'd just order everything so that's from Sykes the croaker but mainly do oars get all these bits out so these are some new sleeves for the oars because ones on the boat are all faded and cracked just one for each oar. Got a new button which goes on around the sleeve. Got some new oar locks too. Nice blue colour. Because the oar locks, one of the pins is a bit bent on the gates on the one I've got, so I thought I'd just replace those as well. I've got different little doodars here, whatever you call them. So you put them in the bottom here and there's different pitches so you can adjust the pitch or the angle that this sits usually you want it four degrees but um there's a few different types i think it ranges from two to four or something like that and anyway, i'll figure it out later and some new hand grips because the ones that i've got on the oars they're quite dirty and yucky i've tried to clean them a bit but i thought might as well replace those too <laughs> give me a job to do on another day upgrading the rowing boat so I'm up to doing the shoes now so that's the foot plate there everything attaches to that plate which will end up going there so I've got to put the quick release system on here and the shoes will clip onto there so that way I can take the shoes out quickly and change them to another boat or whatever so I one came with the optional wedges so I'm going to put them on two so the thicker edge goes where the toe goes and the thin edge goes where the heel goes so 
thick edge up that way. It's got the Bont logo and they've got left and right, so that's a left there if you can see it. So left goes on that side, logo down, right on this side, number letter R, logo face down, thicker parts at the top, thinner parts down here. So you line those up with the holes. Won't worry about the base plate, just, just going to deal with this bit. So then you have these bits that the shoes clip into. So again, it's got a left and right. And you put it this way around on top. So you've got left here, right here, and the shape goes sort of up that way to the middle, and the bigger slot goes to the inside. So you have to have a longer bolt in the top because I've got wedges and a shorter bolt at the bottom that's so going to bolt from the other side if you can see it. So the bond shoes come with all the different bolts. If you don't have the wedges these can go straight onto here but I'm installing the wedges because it came with them so I might as well install them if they're no good I can always take them off afterwards so these bond screws they've got a little bit of blue there so that's a little bit of sort of grease stuff that makes it screw in better and reduces the risk of corrosion so you've got to put a bit of grease on the bolts if you don't have that but these have got that included blue stuff there so I'm ready to go so that's quite beautiful there both of those are installed you want these screws about hand tight so not massively tight but about five newton meters of torque and try and use a hand screwdriver i wouldn't use a drill because it might do them too tightly so let's get on to the next step so the cleats go on to the bottom of the shoes these aren't designed for walking because you'll wreck this so basically it's for quick release to get the shoes in and out of the boat so basically, it's got to match up with the foot plate. So that's the left, and that's the right. Once these are on the shoe, you basically put it like that. So that matches into the holes, and then you click it that way to lock it in. Take them out, click it down, and take it out. And these just come with the supplied screws. It's pretty easy. So make sure you get your left and right correct, left, right, and bolt them onto the bottom of the shoes. That's how it looks with the cleats installed, left one and the right one. So now I've done the cleats, so I'm going to put the heel lift on here. So it comes in three pieces, there's the main one. And then two more bits you can click onto here to make it even thicker. Because these quick release system, it's a, a bit off that base plate. There's a bit of a height here, so you need the heels sort of with a bit of height just to match this bit here. So you basically, there's a left and right. The thicker bit goes to the rear of the shoe. So that's the right shoe. I recommend about one millimetre before the end of here, put it on there, mark where that hole is, then you want to drill here with a two millimetre drill bit. It's a bit of trial and error, I've just used a two millimetre drill bit and then a 5.5 millimetre drill bit works the best. So the bolt's going to go through here and this little nut cleat goes on the inside. Make sure you remove the inner soles first. So that's going to go on the inside there really flat. And then the inner sole is going to go back in here. So I've done the heels. I found when you push that cleat in, give it a tap with the hammer before you screw that bolt in. 
so it gives you a bit of a heel lift here so it just compensates for the fact that these are up a bit so there's two more pieces you can put on I'm not going to do these yet so the first one gives a few more millimeters of lift it's got two little nodules that go here so it sort of clicks in once that bit clicks in it's going to be difficult to get it out again you're going to have to unscrew the whole cleat squeeze these of pliers from the other side to get it out so you can have a bit more lift and if it's not enough you can click this final piece it's got the two little nodules that go here that will click onto like that so you can have a lot more lift if you want to so I'm just going to keep these aside in case I need them so I've just mounted this bit in my vise just for ease of use so I think this is easier if you do this when you've got your feet in here but so basically just going to wiggle this to get the holes lined up got that clicked in so it's not fully clicked in you got to push down and turn it that way outwards got it now I've got both shoes clicked in so I put the cleats on the bottom of the shoes put the heels on put the quick release on now I've clipped them in so that's ready to go into the foot stretcher so I've got my PBR3 Bont rowing shoes installed looks much better now so I've got the quick release system so if you need to take the shoes out of the boat and swap them with different shoes or whatever you can I've got my emergency release here so if you do capsize you pull that it loosens up the velcro instantly and I've got the heel ties here to hold the shoes in the boat so basically your feet can slip out if you capsize so you need to have the heel ties for safety and the heel can move a little bit up and down maybe a finger or two gap underneath there when I get onto the water I'm going to have to adjust the forward and backwards position I've just shoved it there so I might have to go further this way or further this way but you can adjust it on the water with the wing nuts here so I'm really impressed with that bit of a comparison there with the old shoes the nice new Bont rowing shoes so I've got the new wheels from Sykes to replace these old wheels that are worn out so it's just a matter of unscrewing the screw there putting the new wheels on unscrewing these take them off slide the seat back on so I've got my string installed here so for storage or transport the seats not going to move much so that comes off for ordinary rowing and just look at that beautifully beautiful smooth seat so we've got the seat sorted shoes sorted I'm just going to cut out some rubber in a rectangle to go here I'm just going to cut some more rubber there's a bit of old one here so the riggers when they go against the boat they don't crush the fiberglass so I'm going to replace these ones and the other side is completely missing I've just got this roll of rubber from a local Bunnings hardware store so it's 1.5 millimeters thick quite easy to cut to shape 1.5 mil thick 200 mils wide and 10 meter length roll now it's looking like a rowing boat riggers are attached so I've got new nuts here and new washers new bow ball used epoxy glue and put a new bolt through it too just to make sure it's ultra secure oh, it's just amazing so this boat won't know itself when it's back on the water still got the oars to fix up and the oar locks to replace 
but it's getting there. Okay, it's all lock time now, so I've replaced this one. It's got a nice blue on there, so I'm just going to do the other one. This one, the pin at the top here in the gate, is a bit bent. And I thought, if I'm getting all the other parts, it wasn't much extra to get two nice new ore locks as well. So the ones from Croker come with these pitch adjustments. So I was incorrect before. It has from four degrees to seven degrees. So as I call these doodars, these little doodars. You pick what degrees you want, and then you put one in the top here and one in the bottom here. I'm going to choose four degrees, which is a standard pitch. So that's just the angle that, that sits from the vertical. So four degrees, it's sort of, I'm exaggerating a bit, it's sort of sitting like that in the, on the boat. No more pitch should be like that, less. So four degrees is supposed to be the optimal for getting the blade in the water, but not too deep and not too shallow. And then I can always adjust these later on. When you're doing them, make sure you keep the spaces the same. So these spaces here and here, how they are in the old one, you just got to duplicate that. So this one's got all the spaces at the bottom and the doodah is there and there in this one. So you just got to remember that when you're disassembling them. So I'm going to keep the other ones just in case. I'm going to put the two four degrees in. When you take this off, you just have to trim that little tab with a knife, just to make it neater. So they do have a little tiny number, might be hard to make out, but I just wrote it again in texture for ease of use. So they're not quite circular, there's a little straight bit on each side. So you're just going to match it up with the straight bits. And there, pop it in the top, and pop another one in the bottom. So it's ready to go in the boat now and you can take these out and change them at a later time. So you just need a number 10 millimeter spanner, put one at the bottom, one at the top. So there's two screws, this one bolt goes down into the pin, another one goes down to the pin. So you just need to hold the bottom one at the same time that you're loosening the top one. It's pretty easy, so you just got to put that pin in the new one. Put the new oar lock in. Then we're going to have the bolt top and bottom. I'm going to put a little bit of Loctite on the bolt, just a little drop here. So when I screw it in, it's less likely to get corrosion and come undone later. These bolts have to be fairly tight, not massively tight, but fairly tight. I'm not sure the exact newton meters of torque. So look at that. Two brand new oar locks on the boat. It's almost ready to go. Last thing I've got to do is fix up the oars, so I think that'll be another day. And I've put a bit of silicon just around here too where that bow ball is just to seal it and stop water getting in. The boat won't know itself when it gets back on the water. So it's looking like a rowing system now. I've got the installation on the rack. So previous video had how I made all these racking systems. So it sits on some nice foam. Got the straps around it just in case. And the oars just tuck away under there. So all I've got to do now is varnish the oars, replace the hand grips, replace the sleeve and buttons. Do that on another day. Got to do it all in stages, bit by bit. But at least the boat's finished now, and the storage system's finished. So I'm getting there with the oars now. I've given the handles a nice varnish. I did three coats, and I put two nice new hand grips on. So looking a lot better now. So the last thing I've got to do is replace the sleeves and the buttons. You can see it's completely perished here, it really needs replacing. Oh, it's a chilly, foggy morning. 
I'm getting there with the rowing boat and trying to do the sleeves today. So I've got the oar set up on these two rubber blocks. So I put masking tape so I can position the oar in that exact spot here, here, and here, and here. Same thing with the handle. That way, the old sleeve, the flat part, put this on better, is zero on the spirit level. So when I put the new sleeve on, I've got to make sure the rotational direction makes this zero also. That's why I've got to be able to put this or back on this little rig. So these are glued on with epoxy and filler so I basically got to chip and rip the sleeve off so I'll start getting into that now. So I've got the sleeve off now I've just got to just keep chipping away the old epoxy. It's going to take a while. Now we're cooking with gas. Just look at that absolutely fantastic, nice new sleeve and button. I have to admit the epoxy resin is one of the worst substances I've used. I had to have eye protection, gloves on, mask on, because it's got quite a few fumes. It's very messy. I've got a bit on the yaw shaft, so I have to dremel that off when it's dry. Because this bit's skinnier, I try to put the sleeve on here and then slide it up. But it's actually better just to stretch it apart and put it on where it actually goes. Anyway, it's just a bit of a learning curve. The other one's all done. So I have this bit of tape on here to make sure it's lined up to the same spot again. I put these on 86 and a half centimetres from here to the tip. It's got little markings on the sleeve because that's what it was originally and I can always adjust that button later. Sitting in my office here with my boat so I hope you enjoyed that refurbishing video. Bit of a challenge to do but I, you know, I got the shoes replaced, the wheels under the seat replaced, the bow ball replaced, sleeves and buttons and handles, hand grips on the oars replaced and the boat thoroughly cleaned given the once over so I can't wait to get it on the water so thanks for watching this video and the next one will be a bit of rowing on the water and adjusting the rigging and the foot stretcher where it's positioned in the boat and tweaking a few things on the water so don't forget to like comment and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more videos I'll see you next time thanks for watching I've got my PBR3 Bont rowing shoes installed. Looks much better now. And just look at that beautifully, beautiful sleeve seat. Handles a nice varnish. I did three coats. Just look at that absolutely fantastic, nice new sleeve and button.